Good morning, folks. Starting with quakes, no major tremors yesterday, just more ultra shallow movement in unusual locales. Although I suppose way up north here is becoming a regular shaker these days. These quakes are only about a mile or so beneath the surface, 4.5 in Italy there. France as well, taking a few moderate quakes the last few days. Back to the wind map. This is the primary position for energy flow that creates the low pressure system, dictating movement of the air for hundreds of miles around the system. And for those waking up today in Montana, the Dakotas, Wyoming, Idaho, and Oregon, you know I was not kidding yesterday when I said that this cold air is coming down to freeze you. That time of year, folks. Tasmania is seeing severe weather as well in the form of a windstorm. Pretty soon, the southeast of the world will become a watch zone as tropical cyclone season is less than one month away there. Residents of Australia, you have been feeling some warmer temperatures the last few days. This weekend may deliver one of your last doses of cold temps for the year. Ladies and gentlemen, space weather quiet. Solar wind speed in the yellow is steadily dropping beneath 300 kilometers per second, while the proton density above in orange is barely registering. Coming over to the Ovation Prime, we see that the particle bombardment is light or nil. The Fluxgate magnetometer shows no disturbance in our shields, and the induction magnetometer indicates that we have fully recovered from the G3 magnetic storm days ago. During that storm was the only solar plasma penetration of our magnetosphere during the last week. You see there at the red spikes. We were even seeing a little dip in the critical frequencies, which always makes me happy. It looked like the flare watch was really going to rock and roll, but after only two significant flares, we have hit the floor. And I thought the solar wind was quiet. Earth footprint here, grainy rather than clear, so it's indicating a backside connection, although it's kind of on the edge. The main connections in the middle there are at the edge. The group of connections to the left matches with the earth-facing sunspots, and we do have that one connection way on the back side. Speaking of earth-facing sunspots, the leading umbra here is actually developing some dangerous complexity, but it is almost completely turned out of range to affect earth. On the other side, when seeing just how much is going on, it is a shock to pull up the magnetogram and see evenly divided polarities. I was incorrect about that yesterday. This is just beta for now. Won't be quiet forever, though. This set of dark corona holes is almost certain to affect Earth. We have a few plasma filaments that could pop off along with the active regions. For those with good eyes, this is about as small an eruption as you can notice on the sun. It's nothing to worry about, but I had promised a while back to show the next time we had a clear eruption of particles without a flare or filament eruption. There you go. Watch continues a bit longer before a break. Let's hope the Columbia quake was all we get for this one. It's just past 6 a.m. Eastern time. Eyes open with no fear, folks. That's the news. Be safe, everyone.